Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Ooh, that was a, a, a decent response this time. <laughs> Maybe I won't ask a second time. Um, well, welcome to AJ First Assembly here in Apache Junction, Arizona. Welcome to everybody online. We are so glad that you're here worshiping with us tonight. Um, I'm going to start with a couple announcements. And honestly, I can't play and talk at the same time. So... <laughs> So guys, listen, we have our in-house pictorial directory that we're um, already taking pictures for. If you've already done this in the past, come back in, do it again, uh, and update your picture and your information. And if you've never had your picture taken for our For 10 days, we're calling the church to fast and pray yes. as we're preparing our hearts for the transition yes. into the new building. Um, yes, thank you. And uh, I have to say more details as they develop. I'm thinking that's about the new building. We're not going to give any details yet until we have more information yes. about when we're moving. The other thing that's going on is the community thrift store has closed, and they're getting ready to have their liquidation sale beginning tomorrow. Uh, they will be open on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it's 50% off of everything in the store. So show up. And one last announcement. This weekend, Saturday, Lost Dutchman Day Parade. <laughs> Saturday, February 26th. If you're going to go, meet here, 7.30 in the morning. And then uh, we'll head over there and walk. And uh, there's been a change on the meeting uh, for decorating. It's going to be Friday the 25th at 4 p.m. So if you planned on being there, there's a change. Don't come until Friday 4 p.m. Well, uh, it says 4 p.m. I know. I was wrong. 12 o'clock. <laughs> okay. Friday. Right? Still Friday? February 25th. 12 o'clock. All right, there's more happening at the church, guys. If you want to know more, check your bulletin, check your weekly emails. Lots and lots of things happening. It's a thriving, healthy church here, isn't it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Will you stand with me? Jesus, thank you so much for being here with us. As always, we know your presence was already here when we entered this place. Lord, open up our hearts to receive all that you have for us tonight as we focus on you, as we draw all of our attention to you, Lord, here in worship, when we take communion and during our prayer time, Lord, just move in a mighty way in all these lives and in this building and on this property. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
good evening. Right now we're going to enter into a time of the Lord's Supper. And if you need the elements, please raise your hand and someone will bring them down to you. By participating in the Lord's Supper, We are once again reminded of Christ's sacrifice and its significance for our lives yes. and on our lives. It is an occasion of thanksgiving for the salvation and blessings that God made available by Christ's sacrifice on the cross, both spiritually and physically. The Lord's Supper, as established by Jesus himself, is described in four different scriptures. Matthew 26, Mark 14, Luke 22, and 1 Corinthians 11. Its significance relates to the past, the present, and the future. In the past, there is a living memorial or rem remembrance of Christ's death for the believer's redemption from sin. In the present, or the present time, it is a fellowship and a time to experience companionship and unity with Christ and members of Christ's body. And the members of Christ's body are us, the church. Amen. Amen. And the last one is the future, our future, the future of the world and the church. The Lord's Supper gives us a preview and a taste of God's future kingdom. And that's going to be in heaven. Amen. Amen. And the future heavenly banquet in honor of of his son Christ when we as Christ's faithful followers will be with him forever in heaven in Romans 6:10 it describes how he died to sin once and for all and how we have died to sin once and for all through Christ. and was humiliated by the power and punishment of sin for our sake. He endured this to restore our opportunity to have a relationship with God. In his death, Jesus died to the influence and effect of sin. In his resurrection, he triumphed over its power, as mentioned in Acts 2.24. As a result, Jesus makes his life and power available to all who accept his sin-forgiving sacrifice and yield their lives to him. Those who enter this personal relationship with Jesus are united with him in death to sin and often freed from its power so they can experience new life as God planned for all of us. Amen. So before we partake of communion, we must make sure that we're right with the Lord. So I ask you, if you'd like to, to please repeat this prayer with me. And then we'll move into the taking of the Lord's Supper. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my Today I make you my Lord and Savior. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 24, on the night when Jesus was betrayed, Lord Jesus, as we take this bread, we remember what you did for us. We also remember, Lord, that you are the bread of life. In us, through us, and with us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let us take the bread. Go ahead and open your cup. It takes a little bit to do that. So we'll do that first before we continue. <clears throat> in the same scripture, 1 Corinthians 11, but in paragraph 25, it says, in the same way after supper, Jesus took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. And we thank him for what he went through for us, because this cup represents his blood that was spilled. Lord Jesus, as we drink this cup, we remember that you are the giver of life. You are our forgiveness, and you bring us peace and healing in Jesus. The disciples were there, and I want to encourage you as we close this section out and we go to prayer, the, the Lord's Prayer uh, to forgive you of your sins. A hedge of protection around us, Lord. Pray for yourself. Pray for Jesus just begin to bombard heaven uh, fifthly if you want to walk around it's winter in Arizona I want to suggest you put a just you know just just walk the property plead the blood of Jesus many stopped uh, Sunday night and they looked toward the north praying for that property can I have an amen, amen. and um, just lastly I'm going to throw it in uh, okay two things we have a lot of sickness in the church be in prayer for those and Mike and Paula are departing tomorrow and uh, we thank them our, our maps workers this is our first one uh, starting the trickle effect to to leave they've done a wonderful job pray for them as they begin to leave they have blessed us so much you know that from Sunday we want to bless them as they go uh, traveling mercies they have been an inspiration and an encouragement to us and we pray that we have been the same so over the next few weeks and months uh, pray for our MAPS team as they leave. We're going to sign off of online because we're going to go to prayer. I encourage you online to do the same. Let me pray with you before we sign off. Heavenly Father, we thank you for those that have joined us tonight for worship and communion. Lord, I, I just pray that you would bless those folks at home that are watching and going into their own prayer time right now. We have a, a, a long list, but you're a mighty God. You know every individual need. And, and right now, Lord, we give you praise and glory for who you are. 
our Father who art in heaven. Thank you, Lord, that you are in heaven. Thank you that you have a design and a plan for us. And you have a plan for us in this house, in the four walls, and those who are online. I pray a blessing upon them. I pray that you would be with them in a very special way in their prayer time. And Lord, again, bless them as we sign off. Be with them. Encourage them tonight. Heal their bodies, mind, body, and soul. We need you today, Lord. And financially, bless those who are hurting. In Jesus' name we pray and God's people said, amen. amen. Thank you for joining us online these last few moments. God bless you. See you Sunday.